Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson. I am here today with Dr. Todd Landsberg, who is an audiologist with Treble Health. I'm the founder of Treble Health. Today, we are here to talk about the art and science of programming hearing aids. Dr. Todd, could you please start by telling us about your life story with hearing loss and hearing aids and how you approach programming hearing aids for our audience here? Okay. Yes. Um, well, thank you, uh, Dr. Thompson. So my story is I um, was born with a rare disease that knocked out my hearing and kidney function and I've been wearing hearing aids ever since I was five years old. Um, so I've been able to see the technology improve for the last 30, 40 years in hearing aids. The art and science behind hearing aids has come so far from analog to now to digital. The newest products to up to date right now are rechargeable, uh, they're Bluetooth compatible. They work directly with your phone. And some of the newest stuff that just has recently come to the market is a company launched a uh, complete waterproof hearing aid. So we've made a lot of strides and advancements in the hearing section. Along with that requires the programming of the hearing aids. And, and this is where um, it's very important that we get the programming down on the hearing aids to better help a patient's needs. And uh, it's safe to say that the technology is, is very good right now and it will continue to get better, but there's really no reason why one should be hesitant with trying new hearing aids these days with the technology. So you're a big fan of the new technology because you're personally using those hearing aids day to day and you're also, and you've had extensive experience about a decade of experience or more of helping patients one-on-one -on -one by optimizing different hearing aids. So when someone comes who has never tried hearing aids before, but thinks they probably should start try them, what's your, your main message here? What do you instruct or advise that person for their journey and their adaptation process? Okay. So um, when I initially uh, talk with a person about um, trying hearing aids, the first thing that I want to understand is if the patient is doing it for themselves, because what we have found is the person has to be willing to go down this path. It's, it's almost like starting a new exercise routine because once we fit the person with hearing aids, it typically takes about a week or two for the brain and ear to get used to all these new sounds. So, you know, if a person is willing to try this new technology, they also have to be aware that it's going to take a little time to get adapted to hearing all these new things. The one question that is often posed is how do hearing aids work with background noise? Uh, they've come a very, very long ways. The latest technology really works with background noise. However, we are still in the technology level where Hearing aids cannot determine what is background noise from what is, but as a provider, we can make some changes to make it um, work better for you. Yeah, background noise, hearing my family, hearing my friends, hearing my spouse when there's other people talking or other sounds behind me, that's one of the most challenging situations. Now, how much can hearing aids help in that situation? And is there a point where we have to try other things or work on changing my environment or accessories, right? Talk about what is the limit of the best hearing aids and what can they do? And then once I reach that limit, what other resources should I consider to hear better and communicate more easily? Okay. So, I mean, really, you're absolutely right, uh, Dr. Thompson. The, the number one concern that most people have is background noise. So with the latest hearing aids, what we can do is they utilize two microphones. One microphone faces forward, second microphone faces backward to help with the background noise. We also take it a step further. These hearing aids have Bluetooth, so we have the ability to control some of the background noise on our phones as well as on the ear of the hearing aid. Also, we have the ability to do different programming strategies to help a little bit with background noise. But I also tell patients, but that is all great, but there are gonna be still environments that one is gonna have difficulties with. And that pertains to the acoustics of the environment, the brain recognizing things. If 
your wife says something and you don't respond, that doesn't necessarily mean that the background noise is interfering. The brain has to understand what's being said. So it's, it's give and take on that. But I would say that, you know, by trying these hearing aids and allowing your brain to, to get used to it, what we find is the brain will retrain to better um, help with background noise. But if that doesn't work, then we have all these other strategies that can help with background noise. They make devices now that are con- called uh, personal FM systems that will actually eliminate all the background noise and focus solely on the person that is uh, uh, using a microphone. But each individual person's needs to help with background noise is all based on what the provider thinks is best for them. Because as much as we want to take out all the background noise, we have to be mindful of all the alert uh, information out there, uh, such as um, sirens, fire alarms, all sorts of stuff that we still do want to hear in an environment that can that can protect us. It's so important what you shared that the professional working one-on-one with a well-trained audiologist is a crucial part of getting this right. Buying hearing aids online myself and trying it myself, it will help some. Now, how do I optimize that for the best possible, most individualized selection, fitting, and the best outcomes? I agree. It's working with an audiologist. We're both very pro-audiologists. Any one who's worked with an audiologist usually is is very much in support of paying for that service. And that's exactly what we're bringing here with Treble Health via telehealth now over the internet, because as technology has advanced, and we saw this so much during the COVID pandemic, that at some point, the technology became much more efficient, convenient, and safe for us to do it uh, over video whenever possible. And now for hearing loss and hearing aids and hearing tests, people often ask, well, how can you do that online, right? How can you do that online? There will always be a place for a comprehensive in-person hearing test. But with the progression of technology and the uh, -the over-the-counter hearing aid act, which some, some legislature, some laws that are helping with this, now there's more access for hearing aid treatment uh, direct to consumer. And mostly that means online. So it's definitely a big part of what we're bringing here is trying to take the audiology knowledge, bring it online to have Zoom calls, phone calls, and then do remote programming of hearing aids whenever possible uh, to give the end user the best experience. So uh, Dr. Landsberg, really appreciate you sharing your knowledge on this. Do you have any last words here for our community on YouTube, podcasts, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you're listening? Do you have any last messages for us? Well, I, I, I thank you, Dr. Thompson. Um, I would say that, you know, Dr. Thompson's an innovator when it comes to coming up with this concept of, of treble health, as well as um, this uh, telehealth, because I really do think that that's where healthcare is leaning towards. We have the ability to help you in all sorts of unique situations and the, the, the care and the access as well as the accuracy is is there. So it's going to be so much easier to access this information and these resources through uh, Trouble Health. Thank you so much, Dr. Todd Landsberg here. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson, and we made this video to talk about the art and science of hearing aids. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. If you have any questions, you can either leave them in the comments or reach out to one of our audiologists for a free consultation via Zoom video. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.